I've covered quite a lot of robotic lawnmowers over the past year and they all seem to struggle with the same main issue and that's mowing through taller, thicker grass. So they normally do one of two things. Either they have an overly ambitious obstacle avoidance system that sees tall grass as an obstacle that they should go around and avoid or their blade systems just aren't strong enough to cut through this taller, thicker grass. In this video, I'll be partnering with Limo to take a look at the Limo 1. This is a super heavy duty pro level lawnmower that's also a robotic lawnmower that can mow your grass on its own with very minimal setup. You pretty much just set it and forget it and this thing does an incredible job. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that really stood out to me was just how painless it was to set up the Limo 1. So maybe that's because I've set up lots of these in the past and I kind of knew the process going into it, but essentially all you have to do is connect the RTK to the pole system, find an open area. I actually had to install mine a little bit further away from the house because I do have a two-story house and then I also have a large oak tree. So you definitely have to have a good open space with good line of sight and then just put that right there in the ground. From there, you just need to find a space near a power outlet for the charge station. And then it's as easy as connecting the Limo 1 to the application on your phone. I did notice when setting this up that it instantly connected to the satellites. I really didn't have to do a whole lot of moving the RTK around, it locked on instantly with a good strong connection. So that was definitely a major plus. And then once it's all set up in the application, you get to do my favorite part, which is control the lawnmower with your phone to map out your yard. So this is a wire-free setup, so you don't have to worry about burying or setting up a perimeter wire. This uses an RTK VSLAM navigation, so it knows precisely where it is at all times, and you don't have to worry about this wandering off into a neighbor's yard or falling off the curb into the street it's going to stay within the parameters you set up when you're recording the map. Another thing that really stands out is just how much land this can cover in a single day. So I actually have almost an acre. It's the largest lot in my neighborhood and I've noticed that with the other lawnmowers you'd have to wake up very early and then maybe it would be able to mow your entire yard in one day but usually it takes multiple days to mow my entire yard. With the Limo 1, you get 1.73 acres of mowing in a single day when paired with a 10 amp fast charger. So this is definitely able to cover larger areas and larger pieces of land. I think the standout feature here and probably the reason that you may be looking into purchasing the Limo 1 is definitely the high efficiency lie cut system. This uses dual mulching blades at up to 6,000 RPM to easily and efficiently chew through thick and longer grass, which is something that no other robotic mower that I've tested is able to do on a normal basis. We do hire a guy that does come out and mow the yard every couple of weeks, but where I live, there's a ton of rain and we definitely need our grass cut more than once every two weeks. In fact, the Bahia grass especially sprouts up in just a few days after it's been professionally mowed. So having this to be able to go out and mow through my thicker, longer grass in between professional mowings is definitely a major help. This evenly discharges the grass clippings as it mows, so you don't have to worry about this bogging down. If I was using a traditional push mower, I'd have to be re-cranking it every few feet because even a traditional gas power mower usually bogs down with the thick, taller grass. This was able to blow right through it without bogging down or stopping. I do have to say that there were a few areas that were so thick and overgrown that I did have to send the mower back out to hit them on another mowing cycle, but there are some custom settings within the application. Once you've created your map, you can actually increase the RPM up to 6,000 RPM for that specific area. You can also make the mowing speed a bit slower, which can also help this to power through some of those thicker longer areas of grass. The main reason that this is able to power through extra long and thick grass is because it's powered by that 300 watt mower with peak power of up to 1200 watts 
for that extra thick or long grass. Like I had mentioned earlier, there's plenty of customizing that you can do within the application. The deck of the mower is able to cut between 1.2 and 4 inches and is 16 inches in width. So you're going to get good efficient mowing as a floating deck. So it kind of fluctuates with the ground that it's mowing on. So I have a very uneven surface, especially in my front yard. There are a lot of divots and dips. This did a great job of floating over the dips and bumps. So it was able to get a good even cut without scalping those places in my lawn. The Lima One has some of the best AI obstacle avoidance that I've ever seen on a robotic lawnmower. So like I mentioned in the past, a lot of these robotic mowers that I've tested before, they will come up to some of that taller grass and they'll see it as an obstacle and kind of go around it. The Lima One just powers through it. So it knows the difference between tall grass and an actual object. Another thing that I've noticed is some other robotic mowers have pre-programmed objects that they can avoid. And sometimes they'll just run into or run over some other objects. There's one object in particular that mowers have issues with. It's a dog toy that has some handles. And for whatever reason, some of the other mowers just kind of run over it or run into it and get stuck stuck, this is able to detect it and easily avoid it. It was also able to avoid things like a helmet. And for me, the most important thing that it's able to avoid would be humans and pets. So I actually let this thing run directly at me and noticed that I was standing there and avoided me and went around. The track drive system makes this one of the most rugged and capable robotic lawnmowers that I've tested. This is easily able to climb a 45 degree slope. If you have steeper hills in your yard, maybe they're even too steep to cut with your riding lawnmower, this can easily tackle those hills with no problems. The aluminum alloy frame is super heavy duty, making this lawnmower one of the most durable that I've ever tested. This is also equipped with a 528 watt hour LifePo4 battery for up to three hours of runtime on a single charge. When it's depleted the battery, it automatically returns to the charge station for a 90 minute fast charge before returning to work. The Lima One comes with a fully functioning application. Within the application, you'll be able to see things like battery percentage, work progress, and even stats showing you the connection to the Wi-Fi, the satellite signal through the RTK, and even your Bluetooth connection. You have options, of course, to customize the individual cut per zone. You can manage multiple zones, and you have the ability to set schedules. So if you want this to repeat every single day at a certain time, or maybe just once a week, you can set that up within the application as well. Overall, if you're looking for a powerful robotic lawnmower that operates more like a traditional lawnmower that can tackle long, thick grass efficiently, then the Limo One is definitely a great option. I'll be sure to include links in the description so you can find out more information about the Limo One and purchase one for yourself. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.